Elle magazine is taking some heat now over their issue with actress Melissa McCarthy on the cover right there. Lots of people say that she looks great, but what's wrong with this picture? A lot of controversy. Well, joining us now is Bonnie Fuller, the editor of HollywoodLife.com. Thanks for coming in, Bonnie. Thank Happy you. Happy Friday. Oh, hi. Yep. Okay, yeah, so this is really getting an awful lot of buzz. Tell us what is the objection to this photograph? The objection is that Melissa McCarthy is a very curvy woman mm -hmm. and that the coat is totally covering her up. Yes, it is. And it's in stark contrast to the other actresses who've been photographed also. Elle phot photographed four different actresses and that most of the others, uh, including Reese Witherspoon, mm -hmm. are in very body conscious dresses or bikinis. Mm. So, the, so what's the message here? That, that if you're a large person, that you're not supposed to, you know, look like everybody else. You're supposed to cover yourself. She was on the cover of Good Housekeeping magazine and a few others, and they used like like a, a bouquet of flowers to cover her and so forth. Why do they do that? You know what? I don't know why. Why? I really don't know why. Because does she, does she approve it? Well, she did like this cover. Yeah, okay. She actually said that it was amazing. Right. She loved the coat apparently, and it's a beautiful designer coat, but. You know, I, I don't understand because I think women today love to see women in all different shapes and sizes. Right. That's what we've learned at Hollywood Life. Yes. And that's why celebrities, in fact, have really replaced models uh, entirely on the covers of fashion magazines because women relate to people, well, to women like Melissa McCarthy. So why are these magazines up to speed with what's going on in this world? I don't understand it. Well, listen, I think it's terrific that they've got her on the cover because yeah. she's a very talented woman and she's she is powerful and has great films but personally I would have loved to have seen her even in a bright red mm -hmm. like a very mm -hmm. kind of outgoing sort of coat instead of kind of covered in her her hands or in her sleeves it's as if she's uncomfortable so so we have people complaining um, the actress has responded what has Elle magazine uh, said anything about this controversy they have they've said that they work very closely with all of the actresses that were featured on the covers right. that they did and that um, that Melissa chose this coat herself so I guess if Melissa loved it and is comfortable then we've got to say you know yay for your decision yeah, so what what does this lead to I mean if, if that's okay I mean if it's it's something that's acceptable and it'll continue uh, will there be any change or you think that's status quo that's it I hope to see more women of different shapes on covers of magazines more frequently and also feeling good about themselves because I do feel as if there there, it, this cover reflected maybe uh, a bit of discomfort on her part as well. Mm -hmm. Though, don't you think she looks gorgeous with her hair yeah. and her makeup? I mean, right. very, very glamorous. Yeah, she looks it's beautiful. probably a very tough position for her to be yeah. in because I'm sure she was very happy to be on the cover of Elle and Absolutely. kind of went with it. But it would be nice to see her in a beautiful dress as yes. they normally show and other women can see that it's fine to look however you look. Exactly. She's a great talent. She's and, beautiful. Right, and that you're celebrated for your talent and for, for what you achieve. Right. So much reality going on these days, right? I mean, this is it. It is great. Let's do it. Yes. Okay. Bonnie, Bonnie Fuller. Fuller. Thank you. HollywoodLife.com. Thank you. Thank you so much.